Okay, I don't want to keep you guys waiting. We do still have quite a few people filtering in, but we will send the recording after so they won't miss a thing. So hi, everyone. So good to see so many familiar names and, and welcome to, to the new folks as well. I hope you're all doing, doing great. Uh, hey, to kick things off, let's actually get you engaged in the chat. Let us know where you're from and your areas of practice. If everyone could just open up that Zoom chat, make sure um, you're sending chats to everyone on that little drop down. Let us know in the chat. Where are you from? What are your primary areas of focus? What are your primary areas of practice? Help us get to know each other a little bit. So open up that chat, find it in your little Zoom toolbar. Let us know where you're from and, and your areas of practice. Okay, that'll help us get to know each other and, and um, also let you know where the chat is so that you can ask questions at any point. So in case we haven't yet met, I'm Cara Pryor. I'm the president of James Publishing. I'm also the founder of our marketing amplifier system. And, you know, I really do spend most of my time these days strategizing with attorneys on how to improve their marketing results. And I'll tell you, in talking to tons of small firm lawyers, I hear so many complaints about low lead quality. So nearly everyone I speak with wishes their marketing efforts were generating higher quality prospects, right? It's a very common challenge. And to be clear, it's not always about more leads, more leads, more leads. How many, how many leads can we filter through the top? Volume, volume, volume. That's typically not the opportunity, actually. So we know how you can improve your lead quality, and it's to educate your prospect. Hands down, it's educating your prospect. So if you teach prospects the details of their legal issue and, and sort of how you would work to resolve it, the prospects who call you will undoubtedly be better qualified, right? I don't need to convince you that an educated prospect is a higher quality client, right? They'll tend to ask fewer kind of lower level questions. They're more likely to retain you without sort of shopping around and interviewing many other attorneys. And once on board, these educated prospects now turned clients, they do a better job of following your recommendations. Overall, it's it's a better experience for, for everyone involved. So that's why I'm really excited about our session today. That's all about how to generate better leads for your law firm. Not how to generate more leads, how to generate better leads for your law firm. So thanks so much. Uh, the chat is quite active. So great to see all of you there. And keep in mind, we will wrap with a Q&A session. So throughout the, the session, uh, which actually will be uh, quite concise today, feel free to ask any of your marketing questions, any, anything you have to ask about kind of improving the, the results of your law firm's marketing. I'm more than happy to answer those at the end. Uh, and at any point, just, just ask those, submit those questions in that same Zoom chat that you're using to tell us about where you're from and your areas of practice. So just to be clear, during today's concise session, I'm going to show you very specific ways to generate better leads. But just know if you need help with any of this work, it is all included plus some in our marketing amplifier program. So I invite you to just set an appointment with me if you're interested in learning more, or honestly, if you just want to discuss your marketing, I love talking about this stuff. So actually in the chat right now, I just shared my direct calendar link, so feel free to use that to set an appointment with me directly, and I would love to have a tailored marketing conversation with you, okay? So let's dive right in. So starting off right away, pre-qualify with what we call not for everyone language. So what does this mean? So small law firm lawyers routinely complain about the low quality of their leads, as I mentioned at the top of the presentation, right? But when we actually dig in a little bit and examine how they're generating them, we're typically not that surprised. So what do, what do I mean by this? So if a two-line pay-per-click ad sort of leading to a website, typically a homepage of a website, which kind of touts your expertise and experience, and that's all that prospects read or see before calling, it's sort of no wonder that many of your callers may be unqualified, right? So you can't expect sort of unsuitable prospects to disqualify themselves before calling you if you're not explaining how your firm evaluates leads and, and then kind of, you know, what matters are accepted. What are the cases that you're looking to, to take on? You know, how can you help specifically? So where is the copy explaining 
what makes your prospects claim or issue suitable for your firm. Very specifically, where is your sort of not for everyone copy? So if you if you don't explain what makes a claim or an issue kind of worthy of your firm, you'll need to continue sifting through many unsuitable calls, wasting either your time doing the sifting or, or your paralegal or someone in your office, right? And there is a much, much better way. So providing what we call this not for everyone language, it also adds sort of a level of exclusivity, which is, which is important, right? So prospects will try harder when they know your firm turns away those who don't meet your standards. So focusing on your qualified leads, sort of spending less time on those unqualified leads is an easy and rather pleasant and certainly high impact win for your marketing. So let's get specific. We talk all about education. Here at James Publishing, we've been a legal book publisher. This is our 40th year in business. Since the, the very beginning, we have been you know, firm believers of educate, educate, educate. So as an informed prospect is a better prospect, right? It's just something we can all agree on, I hope. There's no doubt about that. But the easier you make it for your prospects to sort of evaluate their own issue, their own claim, the more sophisticated your leads will become, right? The more sophisticated they will become if you make it easy for those prospects to evaluate their own claim. So, so what I mean, so you'll, you'll find that prospects who have read or, or possibly watched your educational materials before they speak with you, they'll nearly always be higher quality prospects, but, but why, right? They'll, they'll ask those more astute questions, certainly be ready to sign with you rather than shop around. Like we talked about, you know, be more likely to show up for those appointments, retain your services and, and really not be surprised for by the process, right? So they won't be surprised by your requests for information. They'll kind of understand the process better. They'll be educated on the process so that there will be fewer surprises and they will be ready. They will know what will be expected of them and what they can expect of you in your office, right? So lead magnets. Lead magnets are great for this. So what, what's a lead magnet? Offering an FAQ booklet, for instance, or maybe a case evaluation checklist, or perhaps a video will help your prospects self-screen. And these can be provided on your website, of course, they need to be provided on your website, but also offered on social media, emailed to new prospects. Let's talk specifically about these lead magnets. Okay, so what to explain in these lead magnets. Now, just to, just to be clear, and I'll go into the specifics and show you this too, lead magnet is essentially you're serving up some educational high value content to your prospects in exchange for their contact information so that you can then nurture them along, which again, I'll get to in just a moment. You can nurture them along, continue to educate them because the bottom line is you absolutely without a doubt, have a group, could be a rather large group of your website visitors who are coming to your site and they're just not ready to book a call, right? They're not ready to kind of book that consult quite yet. However, they're looking to gather more information. They're looking to get some of their questions answered. So rather than those folks kind of coming to your site, maybe reading a blog post and leaving without a trace, it's super critical to collect their contact information, of course, by providing them something of value. And then, you know, we're, we're really able to keep in touch with them. So specifically, what to explain in these lead magnets, be it a written booklet, be it a video, which if you've talked to me lately, you know I'm all about video. It's, it's such a critical piece. Video is just as critical as having a website these days. So if your lead magnet is a written booklet, maybe a one page checklist, maybe a quiz, perhaps, um, you know, of course a video, what, what should you cover? What is helpful? Detail the legal process, right? That's kind of the foundation. That's a great place to start. Again, it educates your prospects on what to expect, what they can expect of you, your approach, as an attorney, who you are as a person, you know, all of that comes through. So um, detailed legal process. Of course, you can answer common prospect questions, right? An FAQ, a frequently asked question booklet, or even a one pager, super effective 
you know those frequently asked questions, you know those common questions you get from prospects all the time, compile those and, and serve them up as a lead magnet. They really reveal details about the work you do. So what do I mean by that? Um, again, kind of your process, uh, why you specifically are suited to handle their legal need. Not, not, the, not the, the, the woman down the street, right? Not the attorney down the street, but you specifically are the one best suited to, to handle their, their case and, and relieve that burden you know, from, from their lives. So the first step in this process is to sort of provide your prospects with a variety of content that really familiarizes them with what lies ahead. Anything you can do to kind of bring down those barriers, you know, you know, many of your prospects, uh, all of your prospects lightly are going through an uncomfortable, if not devastating situation, right? They have questions. They're looking to hire an attorney to help them with a situation that they know very little about, it can often feel very intimidating, the whole process, and also just talking to an attorney in general. So anything you can do with these lead magnets, uh, these educational materials, to kind of bring down those walls, create some transparency, and distinguish yourself. So, you know, you should provide ideally both written articles and videos so that prospects can sort of ingest the content in the way that's most comfortable for them. You know, uh, many of us scrolling through our phone, right? We're going to watch a video on our phone. We may not read, you know, a full booklet on our phone. So just consider, you know, the kind of varying types of content. So I, ideally you're offering articles and, and videos, but give them a look at what will occur if they retain you and get as specific as you can give some insight into how your approach works and then what their role will be. So supplying these educational materials, this educational information in a variety of formats will certainly help get your information across. So again, booklets, checklists, quizzes, perhaps infographics, of course, videos all work. And I would say, you know, I often get question, well, where do I start? Start with that medium that you're most, most comfortable with and then kind of work from there. If it's easiest for you to just sit down in front of your laptop, record a quick video, do that. If you prefer, you know, long form, you know, write to, to write, you know, a booklet or something like that, you know, obviously start, start with that. But let me get specific again in kind of delivering the, the lead magnets and what these lead magnets could potentially look like. So on the slide now, you see a sample of what we call an exit intent pop-up that is added to your website. So when I say exit intent, literally means that as your visitor goes to leave your site, as they're moving their mouse cursor over to that X, this pop-up appears at the last minute, offering them a lengthy, comprehensive, in this case, frequently asked question booklet in exchange for their contact information. Okay, so this is this booklet, this um, uh, personal injury uh, FAQ booklet. That's something that we provide as part of our Marketing Amplifier program. You gain access to whole pretty massive libraries of consumer books and booklets. And as you can see, this one is quite lengthy. We include 56 uh, questions and answers in this. It's, it's a great foundation, but don't think that yours needs to be this comprehensive from, from the beginning, right? The important part is to get something uh, helpful out there so that you're able to, again, capture that information. So look at this pop, pop up, you'll see, Keep it simple. Keeping it simple is so critical, right? So you see, we're asking for first name, email, and phone, of course, for contact purposes. But then you'll see that that last field there, it says, my need for legal assistance is dot, dot, dot. This is really, really critical. So this is what we call a single qualifying question. Uh-oh, Judith only sees a black box. <laughs> That's not good. Um, can you guys let me know in the chat if you can't see my screen? I will try to reload it. Just let me know in the chat if anyone else is having trouble viewing my screen. You should see, looks okay, looks okay. Okay, so Judith, sorry, I'm not sure if you're having a little, little bit of trouble, but um, we'll make sure that you get the full recording of this uh, so that 
uh, if there's any technical difficulties, you can kind of review it. But basically on the screen now, it's just this simple, this simple pop-up. Okay, so back to the qualifying question that really is the, the key to this. Keeping it simple, in this case, we're asking how immediate is your legal need, basically, so that you can rank the urgency of the follow-up and, you know, really, really sort of align with this prospect's need. So how immediate is your legal need? You know, uh, you want a drop down multiple choice. It's important. You don't want to put up any barriers to for for your prospect to, you know, complete this form. Right. But it is important to have some you know, some qualifying question again, so that you're delivering those higher quality prospects. So um, that's a great, simple, uh, simple question is basically how immediate is your legal need? And then this next slide, uh, what you see on the slide now is essentially just the thank you page. So after they complete that uh, that pop up, you know, you can let them know that the the asset, the the booklet, the video, whatever the lead magnet is, will arrive in their inbox automatically, immediately. And then on this page is actually a really good opportunity to excuse me, I didn't mean to advance that. It's a good opportunity to sort of protect your calendar. And if they get to this point, you could actually um, include a link to your calendar or of course your, your direct contact info there. Okay, so moving along, here's also a look at a few of the educational booklets that we provide to our subscribers to our marketing amplifier system. These happen to be obviously uh, personal injury uh, from the personal injury library, but these meaty booklets, they really do work great as lead magnets on your website. Undoubtedly, there's a group of, of visitors who, who will uh, find this information helpful. Then again, we're able to nurture them along. So just wanted to give you a quick peek at that. And I, I like to provide as many samples as possible, giving you a jumping off point. You know, if, if you decide to kind of tackle some of this yourself, I want to give you some inspiration. So I wanted to show you, I think I'll show you three separate uh, video examples too. Again, video is so critical and just so it's so effective. It's the most effective and affordable way to distinguish yourself and qualify your leads, hands down. So I mean, they certainly they're wonderful. They're sort of a wonderfully helpful resource on your website, but they are also perfect for social media. Whether you're on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, we highly recommend sharing these videos. So let me play just a few seconds of this video and two more, just to give you a little bit of inspiration. So, so let me show you. Let me show you this. And these are videos that that we've produced recently for our subscribers. Hi, I'm Amber Sliger of the Sliger Law Firm. I'm a personal injury attorney, and I take care of injured victims in Colorado. I handle um, predominantly complex litigation and complex liability cases. And often when people give me a call, hi, I... So, you know, do I have a good case? I mean, what a great first video to offer, right? Let hi, my me, name is Chris Gatton. Excuse me. Okay, so here's one more uh, sample. I'll play. I'm an attorney with Giddens and Gatton Law PC, located in Albuquerque, New Mexico. We practice bankruptcy law in Albuquerque and throughout the state. Uh, one of the most common questions that we receive from clients is, is my situation bad enough to warrant filing for bankruptcy? And that's a question that doesn't really have a bright line answer, but there are several factors that can help you make that decision. We'd like to discuss those with you today. If you're struggling financially. And okay, so that was a, a bankruptcy example. Hi, I'm attorney. We have one more here. I'll, I'll show you, let you listen to a, a few moments of this one as well. David Hood, and I've been practicing in South Carolina for over 30 years, representing people in courts and uh, various venues. And a question that often comes up is, what kind of tips could you share with us so that we can be prepared for our first meeting? And that's what we're going to do right now. So here are some tips for your first meeting. So a video to prepare your prospects or your new clients for their first meeting, incredibly helpful. Another thing we do to help in that area is we will actually shoot interview style videos where it's there's some role playing involved, right? So, you know, you could have someone acting as an accident victim and, you know, you as the attorney kind of asking them questions, interviewing them, having that first discussion, again, bringing down those barriers helping your prospect understand what this process will be like for them. 
Okay, so prospect and client education is an ongoing process. So let me say it again. Prospect and client education is an ongoing process. There's not really an end to it. So the more often you educate, the bigger impact it will have on the quality, certainly preparedness and compliance of your prospects and clients, right? So once you adopt the sort of prospect attraction, client retention philosophy of education instead of selling, you should really insert it throughout all of your marketing. So if you look at the slide now, we recommend different series for kind of every phase of the client life cycle. Again, because the goal is to serve up the most relevant content possible. So that not only includes the topics in which you're covering, but also, you know, the way in which the, the, the point that they are at in, in the process, right? So for followers, offer booklets on social media and on your website. For prospects specifically, send shock and awe package followed by nurturing series. For new clients, provide welcome kits and then reassurance series. So for new clients, what I mean is, you know, welcoming them aboard, get further describing what the process is like, establishing that critical first impression, and almost combating that buyer's remorse, right? Filling that communication gap that can sometimes exist when there's a time lapse between retention and when that visible work is done. You don't, you know, you and your team, you're hard at work on their case, but it takes time to uh, sort of communicate that. And if you're not communicating that, if your prospect, excuse me, your new client isn't hearing anything from you, unfortunately, they're going to assume that not much is going on. So super critical to fill that communication gap. And then, of course, with past clients, every month circulate a newsletter. We kind of call it a smarter living newsletter. Newsletters are old school, but they are a proven way to keep in touch with your past clients for referral purposes. You, you know, more than likely referrals are coming in for you now simply because you're providing a, a wonderful service. But if you were to specifically nurture those past clients, keep, stay top of mind, keep in touch, remind them of your existence in a coordinated way with a monthly newsletter, you will absolutely see an uptick in those referrals and referral business will more than likely become a kind of predictable source of revenue rather than, you know, sort of a here and there type of a thing. And then uh, what about for professional referral sources? You also need to keep in touch with your referral network if you're going to continue to receive referral business from them on an ongoing, regular basis. So a substantive newsletter, a newsletter geared toward professionals or attorneys that includes content to help them grow their own business, grow their own firm is also, uh, is also you know, very, very critical. So if you talk about followers, you know, booklets, on social media prospects. When I talk about a shock and awe package, what does that mean? It's basically just an impressive collection of content. And again, that's included in our marketing amplifier program. The new clients, we're talking about that welcome series, past clients, newsletter, and then your professional refers, referral sources, of course, a, a newsletter that's geared toward them specifically. So here's a look at what we include in, in the shock and awe packages that we create for our subscribers. Obviously this is very comprehensive. You can see it includes a hundred page book. It includes multiple booklets. It includes brochures. That's obviously a benefit, a perk to being our subscriber. But again, don't feel like your initial kind of wow prospect wow package needs to be this comprehensive it's all all of this is about starting somewhere and because when you think about it so few of of the law firm owners that i talk to so few are offering anything in uh, you know when it comes to any of these uh you know sort of um stages of the client life cycle. So you're really, there's so much opportunity for you to stand out even by just simply starting. So the shock and awe package, uh, we talk about these smarter living newsletters. Okay. So the newsletters, you don't want your past clients eyes to sort of just glaze over while they're reading your newsletter. We want people to actually read it, maybe even share it. Right. So super important to include a nice mix of content. You don't want it to be hundred percent law focused. In many cases, these clients are, you know, might be past their legal issue or 
you know, not, not at least kind of in, in the trenches, kind of in, 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 you know, in the middle of, of the situation. So keep that in mind when you're crafting the content, certainly, you know, big case wins and, um, interesting, you know, a new hire, uh, interesting facts about your staff. All of that is great. Um, also include kind of general interest pieces, better living, uh, articles, recipes, seasonal articles, all very popular. And um, that's kind of how we craft our, our newsletters as part of the program. And then we talk about uh, newsletters geared toward professionals, professional, more substantive newsletters that not only help your referral sources, your referral network sort of grow their own firm, you know, maybe give them some marketing advice and, and some other growth uh, tips, but also uh, you know, further educate them on kind of what you do and, and you know, why you're the best source, why, why you would uh, make for, for kind of a great referral source for them as well. Okay, so um, this is definitely a concise presentation. So I want to make sure that I get to all of your questions as well. Very quickly, you know, do it yourself or outsource this, you know, this work that we talked about. So writing quality materials one time, setting them up as kind of auto sends, you know, automating a lot of this will certainly minimize the work and bring long-term value. But to do this, there's certainly a decent time commitment required up front. But think about it. Once you set most of this up, it can be used for years and years and years with very little tweaking, if any, if any tweaking. So you're really sort of investing in that time and, and committing to that time up front. And then so much of this kind of runs and is automated and is really providing ongoing value to your firm. And of course, um, you know, further kind of qualifying and, and um, um, you know, bettering your, your lead quality. Um, you can, you know, or, or we can certainly provide you with preloaded, super simple, you know, software that covers the complete client life cycle. Um, as our Marketing Amplifier subscriber, actually, just to be clear, you gain access to massive libraries of specialty specific consumer content. So that includes a hundred page book. It includes dozens of, of branded booklets. We brand everything for you. It's all coming from you, coming from the firm. Uh, it includes the monthly newsletter that I that I discussed. Um, it certainly includes those uh, prospect nurturing sequences, the the welcome the welcome sequence, and then a big part of our marketing amplifier program: custom monthly videos. Actually, in the pandemic, videos pretty quickly became the most popular element of our marketing amplifier program. So, if you need a little help kind of dedicating the time and 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 the, the post-production work. If you need help producing videos on a regular basis, we can certainly help you with that as part of our program. And it's included, uh, it's, it's really all included in the $6.95 a month price. So you get two new custom videos every single month. And how we do that is we actually schedule a monthly 30-minute Zoom shoot with you where our video directors get on get on an interview with you we collect all of the footage that we need in the short 30 minutes to then deliver you at least two custom videos every month okay so we're talking about a growing collection of videos we're not talking about shooting one you know high production value you know tens of thousands of dollars spotlight video it's really important to us that we're helping you grow a library, a collection of videos that answer common questions, that help you outline past cases and past clients with sort of varying fact patterns so that prospects can actually come to your site and watch you discuss a legal situation that may be very similar to the one that they're experiencing. You can imagine how compelling that would be, right? Uh, uh, quick question, where are the videos then hosted and shared? So uh, we, we actually host the videos on Vimeo, but we are certainly uh, adding them to your website. Uh, so we're, we're spotlighting them all over your website. We're sharing them on, uh, on your behalf on social media. So that's included in the program where we're certainly uh, sharing those videos in any way that we can, Michael. So if that helps, uh, you know, we can, Michael, you and I can talk further, you know, after this presentation, but uh, we're, really seek, 
So you need access to our website backend to get them on there. No, we, we actually do not need access to your backend of your website. Typically, um, our subscribers will uh, connect us, introduce us to their web developer, whoever is managing their site. Um, if that's you, then then obviously we can work directly with you. Uh, but it, it really works nicely when you're just introducing us to your web developer. And we just provide them with one single line of code, one snippet that takes less than five minutes to install on your site. And um, your videos are then added as lead magnets. That's how we add actually our... Um, excuse me, it's how we add our uh, pop-up, the exit intent pop-up that I talked about. Um, and we're actually further defining um, the videos on your site with a conversion center that is actually um, launching any day now that really helps kind of serve up the most relevant video content to, to your visitors. And again, that's just a bolt-on to your website. So we're not, you know, we're not messing with, with the back end of your site. So Michael, feel free to, to set an appointment with me or... Um, uh, you know, let me know if you have any other questions. Okay, so uh, also we shoot uh, client testimonial videos for you. So, I mean, seriously, client testimonials, especially video testimonials, are marketing gold for attorneys, really, really for, for most businesses, right? But it's hard to, it can't, it's not always easy to shoot, you know, uh, on a regular basis, those uh, video testimonials. So what we'll do, if you have a past client that you feel would make for a good video testimonial, all you do is send us their contact information. We contact that past client on your behalf, jump on a super quick five minute Zoom shoot with them, ask them some direct questions that really pull out a super compelling video testimonial. And let me make it clear with all the videos, we're doing everything. We're of course editing, uh, you know, providing all of the post-production work, adding our content, our slides, and really producing some nice high quality videos for you on a regular basis. So, so just reach out, set an appointment with me if, if you'd like to chat. So questions, okay, feel free, uh, keep those questions coming. We've had some really good ones come in. So, but ask me anything about your marketing. Feel free to, to hop on that chat. Uh, okay, so if I only have time to implement one of these elements, where should I focus? Excellent question. Uh, you know, almost without exception, all of the small law firm owners I speak with are strapped for time, right? You're dealing with pressing client matters that it just makes sense, right? So uh, where should you start? Where is kind of that lowest hanging fruit? So I think the lowest hanging fruit is the prospect nurturing series. So that's where I would start. So write a series of emails that answers your prospects' common questions. And, and like I said in the presentation, you know those better than anyone, right? And it's it's certainly clear that, you know, that there, there's so much opportunity there, right? So, so many of the firms I talk to, they ignore prospects who don't sign up right away, right? There's so much opportunity to keep in touch on an automated basis, right? A right one-time series that helps keep you top of mind, further educates them, establishes you as the authority, the expert, really kind of, you know, showcases your expertise and, and conveys your caring in the end. So, um, you know, really just shows them that you're ready and you're willing to help. So if you're strapped for time, and of course you are, if you're on this webinar, I, I believe that you are. So <clears throat> focus on on that prospect nurturing series, or just hire us and we'll handle 99% of, of all of this for you. Uh, really quick, uh, back to uh, Barbara just said, do you have different tiers of packages? So right now, uh, our two options are um, you get access to all of the content that I talked about. The only difference in the uh, pricing tiers for $6.95 a month, you get two custom videos every month. For $9.95 a month, you get four custom videos every month. Everything else is the same. You get same access, all of the content. So those are just the two, the two options. Um, we added that, that $9.95 option as um, people were asking for more frequent videos. So uh, yeah, so, and actually I, I do wanna say that that $6.95 option is actually going away in the next, probably 30 days. So if you're interested in getting in, being grandfathered into that $6.95 price, um, 
you know, I, I highly recommend that, that you schedule, set that appointment with me. Okay. Uh, question, how often should I send a newsletter uh, and should it be print or digital? Highly recommend monthly. Um, included in our program is a digital e-newsletter. However, it kind of depends on the type of list that you have, <coughs> excuse me, type of list that you have, as well as how much money you want to spend, right? So, and, and how much time you have. So if you're outsourcing the newsletter, you know, monthly is certainly ideal. If you're doing it yourself, maybe monthly isn't something that you can commit to. Perhaps it's quarterly, but whatever you decide on, whatever the frequency is, I highly recommend you sticking to that frequency, right? So don't, <coughs> excuse me, don't just sort of approach it ad hoc and, you know, I'll do one here. I'll wait a couple months. Oh, you know, I have time now. Stick to uh, a frequency that your past clients can begin to expect. Digital versus print. Uh, if you have mostly email addresses, you're looking to save a lot of money, go digital. If you have a lot of physical mailing addresses, you want to spend a little bit more, go print or a, a hybrid approach. So um, we will offer, we, we also offer fulfillment. If you'd like printed newsletters, we can print and ship them for you. Um, but, you know, that we just charge our costs for that basically. Uh, can you tell us the practice areas you cover? Can I sign up for multiple specialties? Great question. I meant to, to mention this. So we currently offer the full program in the area, since it is so content heavy, we offer the program in, excuse me, uh, uh, personal injury, uh, family law, estate planning, bankruptcy, social security disability, uh, uh, business litigation and criminal defense sort of slash DUI. So um, those are the core areas that we're currently offering the full program. Um, does your program include a setup fee? No, it does not. In fact, we charge only a dollar for the first month. So it's something, it's actually a really fun time for us because we love, we put so much into the onboarding process that we like to wow our subscribers right away. So as soon as possible, I mean, pretty much as soon as you're available, we're, we're getting, uh, we're getting rolling. So we're scheduling your onboarding call. We're getting your first video shoot on the books and you're actually being delivered your first videos before, you know, and you've only spent a dollar. So by that first 30 day mark, you know, then the 695 or 995 comes into play. We ask for a three month commitment. So you're essentially paying for two of the first three months. After the three months, it's a month to month agreement. So cancel any time, no cancellation fee, no setup fee. Okay, so I hope that's clear. All right, so I think we covered I think we covered most of it. I'm looking through, uh, I see a couple kind of duplicate questions, but I think, I think we covered most of it. Let me share uh, my appointment link again, right there. Feel free, just, just set an appointment with me. Let's chat. I, I really do love talking about this and, and I think I could have some, some good recommendations for you and certainly help you if you're interested in our program. So set an appointment, look forward to talking to you. Um, I know many of, uh, many of these names are very familiar. Uh, okay, another question Michael has, does your system integrate with uh, any CRMs, uh, Lawmatics, Clio, et cetera? Absolutely, uh, it's our goal to integrate with your existing system. We want as little disruption in your workflow as possible. So um, I, can, I can share a list of our current integrations, but Clio, certainly, Lawmatics, yes. Um, anything with, you know, an open API, anything we can use Zapier to kind of connect to our system, absolutely integration is the goal and it's the kind of most streamlined way of, of, of kind of, um, you know, producing the, the product. So we have an integration specialist. We make sure that um, you're set up in just the way, uh, you know, that's, that's most helpful for you. Um, so yes, Michael, absolutely, we, we will integrate. Okay, so thank you so much for joining. Join us next time. I've been hosting uh, these educational webinars uh, more often as uh, demand requires. So feel free to reach out and uh, I love to see you guys here next time.
Thanks so much. Have a great one. Bye-bye, guys.